Finally, the fourth practice is teaching. The foundation of this practice is the understanding that we are called to obey Jesus' command to love. The Great Commission calls us to teach new disciples everything that Jesus has commanded us, and discipleship is holding to those teachings. What Jesus made clear is that God's greatest command for us to obey is to love. Obedience with this understanding is expressed through the fruit of the Spirit because the fruit of the Spirit is love. And this love leads to freedom. While I may be taking some liberty with the wording a bit, I note that it does not say we are to teach everything Jesus commanded everyone else, but it does say to teach everything Jesus has commanded us. So this releases me from the pressure of feeling like I have to understand everything before sharing truth with others. There can be doctrines and biblical stories that I still don't comprehend, but if I have an understanding that Jesus loves me and expects me to love others, then I have plenty to teach with just that knowledge. As I reflect on characters in the New Testament, this is the beautiful part of their stories. They simply shared what Jesus had done in their lives. There was no need to know more than that to be effective in spreading the good news. The woman at the well clearly had much to learn about Jesus, but she told others what Jesus had said about her life. There's an account of a man who had been born blind and was healed by Jesus. The religious leaders demanded that he explain more about Jesus to them, and they wanted him to declare Jesus to be a sinner. And his response was, whether he's a sinner or not, I don't know. One thing I do know, I was blind, but now I see. We are all in process, and we have much to figure out in this life. So waiting until the day of complete knowledge before believing we are ready to teach others just doesn't make a lot of sense. We don't have to be clever or persuasive We only have to be genuine and honest. To our children, the message is simple. Being a follower of Jesus means obeying him, not by reciting verses or doing religious acts, but by acting like him in two ways, loving God and loving others. Focusing on what Jesus has made clear time and time again by directly stating his command to love above all else is a gift to our children. By doing so, we give them so much less to unlearn later in life, and we save them problems and baggage on their spiritual journey. 